This question appeared in NEET PG 2023 from psychiatry. It starts with a 25 year old female who is brought with symptoms of anxiety, palpitation and sweating, breathlessness, chest pain and feeling that she might be having a heart attack. She is also having a feeling of impending doom. She had five to six episodes in a month, each of 30 minute durations and this has been happening since six months. So what is your diagnosis and your options are A, depression, B, panic disorder, C, GAD that is generalized anxiety disorder and D, agoraphobia. Now, this question is a pretty simple question provided you understand the small differences between each of these options. So let's start understanding each one of these options. So the first is panic attacks okay so they all will have similar symptoms but remember there are two very very important things about panic attacks which you have to remember first it is recurrent and second most important is there is no obvious trigger in terms of you know any object or situation so there is no obvious trigger in terms of object or situation. So this is very, very, you know, characteristic feature of panic disorder. Let's talk about depression. So even in depression, you can have anxiety. One of the options was depression. And you can have some of these physical symptoms, but then other symptoms of depression will be more pronounced like, you know, uh, not eating well, uh, gaining weight or losing weight, not having proper sleep, having, you know, suicidal tendencies. So all those things might go towards depression. Let's look at the next option that is GAD, also stands for generalized anxiety disorder. Now in this what happens, there is an excessive and irrational worry for day to day activities. So in this, you will have symptoms similar to panic attack, but may have, but it is primarily excessive and irrational you know worry or anxiety for day to day things so out of proportion worry will be there you know someone is crossing uh, you know in any situation crossing the road uh, super ang anxious about it so for everything they will be out of proportion anxious so that is generalized anxiety disorder and yes many times what will happen if a patient is having generalized anxiety disorder, this will, you know, may have presenting with panic attack. Okay, panic attack. But if you take a good history, you will realize generalized anxiety disorder. The patient is anxious about almost everything and the anxiety is out of proportion to whatever the situation may be. That is generalized anxiety disorder. The third, last option was agoraphobia. So here, there is again an excessive and irrational, you know, uh, fear or anxiety of places which are difficult to skip. Okay, so this is agoraphobia. So places which are closed, which are difficult to, you know, escape from, uh, you know, the patient has the symptoms only on those situations. So very specific stimulus generates that symptoms of panic attack. So almost anxiety and panic attacks can be three seen in three. But when you diagnose panic attack, it has to be recurrent and no obvious trigger or symptom. So now once we look at the particular case, we understand that there is no specific trigger of object or situation in this case. So it cannot be, uh, you know, so it has to be panic disorder. It cannot be depression. It cannot be generalized anxiety disorder and it cannot be agoraphobia. The correct answer will be panic disorder in this case.